I don't even have to go up. I, we built him a court above a house. And I'm thinking, ah, it's probably a waste of my investment here. We're up there all the time. And it did change his life because he wanted to start his own union. Are you a self-starter? All you students, are you a self-starter? This world is very competitive, isn't it? I mean, you're going to be competing for jobs. You're going to have to go out and network. You're going to have to put your best foot forward. And that's what we ask our student athletes to do all the time. So I, I would challenge all of you to understand how important it is every day to start your engine. You know, I've learned that people don't know how much you care. Or people don't know how much you care until they know that you are invested in whatever you're doing. Okay? You've got to be invested. I mean, right now, I tell you, the adversity I went through with this team, the adversity I went through with this team just about drove me over the edge. Hard to sleep. Wake up mad. Go to bed mad. You know, but you can't go into a team and get a team to perform because you're mad. You've got to go in and get a team to perform because they are invested and they do care. That's how you do it. And you constantly encourage. As much as I wanted to say things at a certain time, I knew it wasn't the right time to say what was on my mind. But it needed to be about more about what they were willing to give. It's hard to get people to work together sometimes, isn't it? It really is. And so, for me, I knew that I had to talk to this group, challenge this group, and, and try and dial them up. You know, a lot of people have to be dialed up. Don't be somebody that has to be dialed up. Be somebody that's dialed up and wired up and ready to go every day. Ready to go every day. <clears throat> be kind and sincere, generous and honest, and be humble. Be humble. You know, that's something my parents taught me a long time ago. And it's been a good lesson. It's been a good lesson. You know, yes, we won a lot. We won more championships than anyone in women's basketball. Does that make us better than anybody else? No. Does not. And it just means every time you win, you've got to try and figure out that formula and try to come back and be better. That's why this past year, Joan will tell you, it was a challenge. <laughs> it was a challenge. Somehow I think the good Lord thought, it's about time Coach Sun had a challenge. <laughs> you know, she's got a challenge. I'm not sure she appreciates those challenges. <laughs> you know, you're just riding along and you're on a big old high because everything was good. And then I got seven freshmen. Think about that. Well, I'm, I'm better now because of it. I can tell you that they, I've never had a group work so hard in the off season. I mean, they have had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> but at least they bought it. <laughs> There's one person on this campus I want to know, if any of you know, a young woman named Heather Mason. Anybody know Heather Mason? Okay. Two, three. Heather Mason is the toughest coach on the University of Tennessee campus. What does she do? She trains our student athletes. Now, after we came back and we lost, and I had a lot of publicity that wasn't necessarily positive, because everybody thought it was punishment. You no, know, when you fail, there's an opportunity to get up and figure out how you're going to be more successful the next time, right? Don't take it as, you know, we failed, and this is, failure's okay, it's not. So, I went to Heather. Well, the first workout that we had with Heather was over in the indoor practice facility. And we had these big old tractor tires, one of the big ones. And so our team, part of their exercise is that they had to go individually, get down, put their hands underneath the tractor tire, lift it up and push it over 
and they had to do that the length of the foot in the football field. Um, might I say, even I was like, that's <laughs> tough. After that, they got these grocery carts and they put 150 pounds in the grocery cart and they had to push it up and down in the inside practice facility. Now, you might say, was that punishment? No, but I can't tell you how much stronger they got physically, but more importantly, where? Mentally. Mentally. And then, you know when you go to football games? How many of you go up gate 10? Any of you ever go up gate 10? Yes. So I rest of you go up the elevator. I go up the elevator too. But going up gate 10, I watched them run 17 sprints up gate 10 yesterday. They sprint up, they walk down, rest walk. And at the end of it, I asked them, I said, how are y'all feeling? Because they all finished. First day, they were dropping out like flies. And they said, Coach, we feel great. And I said, why do you feel so good right now? And they said, because we've invested. We've invested. And we are physically stronger and mentally tougher. So when you think about being successful, you got to think about a total investment, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. A job is too big or too small. Whatever it takes, you're going to invest in it, and you're going to do it. So, although I struggled, and we had a lot of adversity, I think I'll sleep better now, between now and when we have a chance. We, we just have two more days of practice. I wish we had two more months. But we have two more days. Then, they're on their own. They're on their own. So hopefully what we have done is what all of you are doing to help these young students in this MBA program understand it's going to be competitive. Times are tough. Jobs will be scarce. What's going to separate you from everybody else? Think about what you can do. What you can do to stand out from the rest. That's what we do when we go through adversity. How are we going to overcome it? How's our attitude going to be? Attitude is so incredibly important. Every day of your life, your attitude really matters. Be on time. Be on time. Show respect. Respect to your peers. Respect to your faculty. Respect to your parents. And all those around you. When our students go to class, I remind them all the time, get to know your professors. Sit up straight, make eye contact, be invested. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Never again when you leave here will you have people so invested in helping you make it. This is a time to take advantage of that. You never have a second chance to make a good first impression. Discipline yourself so no one else has to. I love the word discipline. Not that I love to have to deal with it, but think what discipline does. What does discipline do for you? To get you out of bed? Hope so. Time to get up. Get up. Don't turn that alarm off. Been there and done that. But discipline yourself. Because self-discipline helps 